This year's salutatorian is Colton Simmons in the Graphic Design Transfer Program. Colton, would you please rise and be recognized. Colton Simmons, ladies and gentlemen. This year's valedictorian, I'm pleased to announce, is John Connor Dvorsky in Engineering Transfer Program. Mr. Dvorsky, who dropped out of high school, graduates with a 3.99 GPA in Engineering Science Transfer. How about that? He overcame many challenges and barriers in his teens to take his opportunities at BCC by storm, volunteering for many activities, tutoring, STEM club, and as a mentor in our Gateway to College program. He is a semi-finalist in the prestigious Jack Kent Cook National Transfer Scholarship Program, and he's still weighing his options for transfer to several prestigious schools. Please welcome the class valedictorian, John Connor Dvorsky. Thank you, President Spraga, for the introduction. It is my honor to stand before you petrified of large crowds. <laughs> if I make eye contact, I assure you it is an accident. I would prefer it didn't happen. This is a rare occasion. I am outside the engineering building speaking to people, but not showing you how much better my calculator is than yours. However, just in case you're wondering, it is. With the engineering stereotypes out of the way, we can now proceed. For the narcissist amongst us, while standing in a hot line and clapping forever to receive a piece of paper might not seem like a worthwhile venture, we must look to what has led us up to this point. That piece of paper and exhausted forearms represent for many here a long, arduous road. The paths we have taken are many, and nights of studying uncountable. Mathematicians, hold your tongues. We can all go on to greater heights if we so choose. I will briefly share the path I have taken in hopes that you may see how far we can all go. One of my favorite preachers, Charles H. Spurgeon said, by perseverance the snail reached the ark. While I have yet to reach the ark, I am no more than a stubborn snail. I have been put on display to provide a glimpse of my slimy trail. None of us merely landed here today. This ceremony is a result of hard work, and in my case, a miracle. Now as a child, instead of burning my aunt underlings with a magnifying glass, I enjoyed creating for them complex infrastructure. Instead of playing with a new remote control car, I would take it apart to carefully inspect the printed circuit board and components. And I may or may not have constructed explosive devices when no one was paying attention. <laughs> However, the engineering mind I was created with would be seemingly quenched. I lost my father at a very young age, fell into all the wrong crowds, and dropped out of high school at age 16. I was lost and living in despair. Those who knew me then would never have dreamed of me being here today. However, I was created anew by the blood of Jesus Christ at the age of 18. I earned my GED and came to BCC without much hope of success. I thought I was an academic failure and would amount to little. I never knew true friends. I only knew how to use and be used. BCC was the catalyst through which everything changed. I soon found out I could flourish academically if I just applied myself, so I strove for a 4.0. I managed to lose it this semester earning an A- in a humanities class. I know, I know. I'm a slacker. Still, not bad for someone who never paid attention in grammar school and communicates with grunts and incomplete sentences in the lab. If I hadn't earned an A minus years ago, I would have been rather pleased. Now, however, I see how much better I could have done. It turns out that I wasn't incapable. I just never really applied myself. I have met many others here who discovered this very thing. At BCC, I received more than a solid education. I earned lifelong friends, many of which provided good competition. Jason, I'm pretty sure we're at least tied now. Mark, I told you not to study for the circuits final. Abe, 
If it's open notebook, it's a trap. <laughs> I have made so many friends here, it would be rather time consuming to name you all. Sorry, Jazz. Not only did I find camaraderie amongst my peers, but also my instructors. I spent many hours in Professor Wolfson's office discussing, discussing everything from religion to archaic video games and occasionally physics. President Spraga, if you're listening, and I hope you are, Zach Wolfson could use a bigger office. <laughs> and the audience agrees. I had the help and guidance from Megan Abella Bone and Dr. Weisberger as well. <laughs> I'm sure Megan's running around somewhere as we speak. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you both for all your help. Professor Hyam, I never knew one could laugh so hard while taking integral calculus or play hacky sack with a piece of chalk. BCC has numerous faculty, staff, and programs like Gateway to College that are invested in their students and are critical to our success and future. It is crucial that such programs continue to receive funding and support. We are all here as a result of those who supported us along the way. I would like to thank you, Mom, for supporting me in so many ways. I would like to thank all you parents, partners, family, faculty, and staff for investing in our future by investing in your graduates' education. To my little sister, Megan, whom I deeply love, and all those who need a role model like I did, if you work hard, you can do anything you want, within reason. <laughs> hard work is not always fun, and it isn't Minecraft, but it is worth it. There is a salary at the end of the tunnel. Set your goals beyond where I am today, because I am leaping further, and so can you. I thought that at community college, I couldn't have the typical college experience. I thought I wouldn't find like-minded individuals or participate in fun on-campus activities. However, I found just that and something even better here. I received a sound education, laughed hysterically in the quiet section of the library, earned lifelong friends, and most importantly, met my fiance and soon-to-be wife. <laughs> She is the most important person in my life. I would do anything for her. Yenny, I love you with all my heart and will make that decision every day for the rest of my life. <laughs> I can't stare because I'll get in trouble. Five years ago, before Christ changed my life, I was incapable of such a love as I have for you. BCC has enabled me to transfer to a prestigious university that will equip me with a degree with which I can provide for the family we will start. I thought that because I was coming from a community college, I had limited options. I was wrong. From here, you can go anywhere. Our vision statement, Bristol Community College changes the world by changing lives, learner by learner, may seem trite. And in fact, it did to me upon my entry to BCC. I could have never anticipated the fundamental changes that Christ would work in my life during my three years of study here. That inquisitive child has been reignited. With my perpetual hidden awkwardness, the need to overclock every computer I touch, and love for mathematics that make most people cry, I found my niche. I was at the bottom of the barrel, and I find myself placed near the top. I am not special, nor am I a genius. I was enabled to work hard by a loving God and a supportive family. I was provided, like you all, this institution where I was granted opportunity. BCC isn't merely a stepping stone. As we move on from here, we can leap. So my parting question is, where will you leap? <laughs> <laughs>